Hello and welcome to another one of my tutorials. This tutorial is all about setting up and using an exciting new plugin for Blender and a sprite called Prebambase. It was created by an artist called Lampy Sprites. Check them out over on Twitter. If you're wondering what Prebambase is, it's a new tool created to help speed up the workflow for low poly modeling. The main draw is that it essentially connects a sprite and Blender in a way that you can draw and edit your textures in a sprite and you will see it update live within Blender. It does have one other very handy feature, but I'll get into that later. So first things first, you will need three things. First, you will need Blender. The plugin supports Blender version 2.8 and up. Lampy Sprites recommends at least version 2.83, but I'd say just get the latest. You can get it from the official website, so grab it from there if you don't already have it. Second, you will need Ace Sprite. You will need the full version, not the trial version, and minimum version 1.2.30 or 1.3 beta 7, which as of this recording is the latest version. You can grab that on the official website or on Steam. Finally, you will need the actual preband based plugins. To get preband based, just head over to the itch.io page. I will add a link here on screen but I will also add one to the video description. While this plugin is technically free at the moment, I would personally encourage you to at least throw a few bucks their way when you download it. I definitely paid full price because I know I'm going to get a lot out of this. So while all the instructions are actually here on the page, I will actually be running you through how to download and install everything. Now pre bam base does actually come in two parts. When you click download now, you will see these files listed. You only need to grab two of these. The first one is the Ace Sprite extension. This will apply to all versions of Ace Sprite across all operating systems. The rest of them are for Blender and are specific to your operating system. So if you use Windows, grab the Windows one, Mac, OS X, Linux, Linux. Easy peasy. So just grab the Aceprite one and the other one that you need. To install the plugin in Blender, first you'll have to open up Blender, then go Edit, Preferences, navigate to Add-ons, then click Install. Find where you downloaded the plugin, click it, click Install, and it'll add it in. If it doesn't come up automatically here, just search for Preamp Base, select it, and then make sure it's ticked. To install the plugin in a sprite, you can do it one of two ways. First way is to drag the extension into the window and it will install. This doesn't seem to work in Linux, so I will also show you the other way. Go edit, preferences, then extensions. Click add extension, navigate to where the extension has been downloaded, select it and click OK. Since I already have it installed, it will ask me if I want to upgrade. I'll just say yes and apply. Okay, now close and restart a sprite. Now that you have pre base installed, using it is actually very, very easy. First thing you have to do is get it started in Blender. In Blender, open up your Tools tab and go to Tool and click Connect in the New Sync tab. Over in a sprite, go File, Sync. The menu says it's synced and you can now hide that. Now to start editing your image, you can do one of two things. You can either just open up the image in a sprite and start editing it, or over in Blender, you can go over to your UV slash image editor, go to the new sprite menu and click edit. This will open up the image over in a sprite. Now you can just start editing. And as you can see, it updates live in Blender and on your model. Now there is one additional extra feature over in the Sprite tab. Now what you want to do is select all your objects, go into edit mode and select all the faces you want to show up in the UV editor. Then go up to Sprite and click send UV. Now these settings are probably fine by default, but feel free to play with them. Now click OK. And what this does is it sends the UVs over to a sprite. 
Now, the best thing about this is that the UVs are sent resolution independent from your image. So while this image is 128 by 128, if you zoom into the UVs, you can actually see it's a completely different resolution to your image. Now, if you edit the UVs over in Blender, it's not going to live update over in a Sprite. You'll just need to go back to Sprite and click send UVs and send it back. To get rid of the UV map, all you need to do is just delete the layer. Now that's all the basics about pre band base. Downloading it, installing it, and using the basic features. Feel free to play around and find any other features that I haven't covered today. That's everything I need to show you. So I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day. See you later.